Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. I want to talk about the uh, the event, a small miracle. So, I didn't really get to farm it that much. I only got uh, 2,000 socks after buying most of the stuff in the exchange. So everything is worth it. These are too easy to farm. All the rest I just bought, even like some other stuff that like, like Giga Phantasma, you can you can build that up real easily. Uh, the cow is the worth getting. The card, of course, you need to get to farm socks easily. Uh, the helm, it's all uh, random, what you're gonna roll on, but uh, I mean, the substats are already really good, so might as well get it. And for all the other stuff here, same thing, like the runes, like don't worry about that. Uh, the rest you can buy, especially those boots, like, these are gonna end up being 35 speed really nice like uh, depends on your uh, luck with the with the rolls on the substats hopefully you get some high rolls and uh, and it, they land uh, where you want them maybe you want on a support you're gonna need health and defense maybe you need this on a damage dealer that uh, deals more damage uh, if they have more speed so you're gonna want more uh, attack and crit chance rolls and uh, high rolls if possible but it's, it's all random so good luck with that now I want to talk about farming those socks and getting the chess of small fortune as a free to play player especially because if you're spending money in this game and you have you can just buy a bunch of sky stones it's no issue you can just farm this place because you can just uh, six star uh, heroes while getting socks and while getting while getting these so I'm gonna talk about if it's worth doing as free to play and the only real moment where it's actually worth uh, farming is this because getting um, these uh, the heart of hypocrisis is actually extremely easy here it's an easy battle you can farm this place with with uh, one uh, carry hero or you can even just use a friend hero he's gonna solo the whole place you can just bring four fathers like two uh, four two star heroes that you can level up now I'm gonna talk about getting this uh, through adventures if you go in the adventures I actually uh, completed everything in world difficulty in normal of course in world everything up to uh, the tent area everything else I, I three starred everything see so the only two place I found that you can get the heart of hypocrisy is from 9-2 you go to region info monster then you see that uh, cigarette this is a boss fight this is actually a stage that is not easy guys this is where you can get them from so she she drops those and it's gonna be her only on that stage well, same with the event, It's I believe it's the boss that drops it. But yeah, that's one place and there's a second place and there's also a boss fight there. So is, if you're free to play and you need those things, and I will uh, explain to you uh, which heroes actually need those, that's the only uh, true moment where you should be farming that place because it's very easy to obtain them compared to these, uh, these two stages. Here you have to fight Ravi. I went in there with uh, like a strong team and it, it's not easy, you can't go in there with like one hero, uh, one friend in most cases and, and, and like two fathers or like you won't be able to just bring uh, four fathers or three fathers. Uh, you might just be able to bring one father maximum and have it replaced by your friend uh, hero and in some cases if you're not strong enough <clears throat> you might need to just bring your full crew in there with no father and you're not gonna be able to get any experience at the same time but it is it is 8 uh, energy versus 12 energy in the event but we're talking about world difficulty in uh, zone 9-2 and 10 so yeah the two places where you can get them Ravi and Sigrid <clears throat> so if you're free to play the heroes that you will need them uh, these uh, the heart of hypocrisy uh, rare catal catalyst on you will need them on heroes that are uh, they have the astrology sign 
cancer. So I've got this Tina <clears throat> as an example. I'll show you the sixth awakening on four star, uh, three star, four star, and five star uh, heroes that are uh, of the Cancer astrology sign. You will need the heart of Hippocrates. So you will need for this Tina. She's a five star. You need uh, you need ten. You need 10 for a 5 star, you need 8 for a 4 star, and you need 6 for a 3 star. I'll show you if you don't believe me. So this Tina is this, the 5 star. The 4 star that I have that is Cancer is Corvus. You see, you need 8. And for a 3 star, Pilus, Cancer astrology sign, you need six, you see? So if you absolutely need those to get the sixth awakening on a Cancer astrology sign hero, like go for it, like farm the event as free to play, it's worth it. You're gonna get socks too and potentially something good out of the chest, but it's random, it's random. And the chance to actually get something good is low. You might have been lucky early on Maybe you struck gold. Maybe you got the gold transmit stone. Really lucky, cause like uh, all I'm hearing is like uh, I I like open this amount of chest, this amount of chest, this amount of chest. Zero gold transmit stone. You know. So be careful, guys. Uh, you have a limited supply of uh, energy and use it wisely. So yeah, Cancer sign, uh, uh, astrology sign heroes. Now let me show you for the skill enhancement. For a uh, five-star hero that is Cancer, you will need uh, seven for all the skill ups. Uh, for a four-star hero Cancer, you will need uh, five, and for a three-star Cancer hero, you, you need zero. So let me show you. This Tina could be another uh, five-star Cancer hero. So you need two for her uh, third skill. You might not want to do it, but it's plus healing, so it's good on this Tina. This, you need three, so that's, uh, we're at five already. This is definitely worth it, 15 healing. But this one is not worth it, because it's damage. Uh, so, it's, it's seven total. And, uh, yeah, this one is not worth it. But still, other heroes, you might want to uh, do the full uh, skill enhancement, and you might need all uh, three of them. Let me show you for a... Uh, Four star. Where is it at? So Corvus. See? One here. I said that you need uh, five total. That is if you actually want to do all five skills. So that's three. That's five now. You see? Now if I check Pilus, which is a natural three star, you need zero. It's only the baby mouse insignias that you need for the last one so there you have it if you absolutely need the sixth awakening for your cancer hero uh, and you're not far in the world difficulty or your team's not too strong but you, you actually want to get that sixth awakening or you want to do those skill enhancement which are very powerful uh, in, in most cases so you can go for it because it, it, it's not easy to farm 9-2 uh, cigarette uh, boss fight or Ravi boss fight in uh, in 10 <clears throat> uh, now I'm gonna go and I actually gonna open chess I farm 10 just just uh, for funsies now out of this thing of course the covenant bookmarks Molagora seed all the charms I mean the charms you can just get them uh, from uh, hunt missions in the sanctuary or in uh, Labyrinth or in, in Raids. But the Gold Transmit Stone is the best here. And then it would be the Molagora Seed. And then it would be the Covenant Book Marks. And the rest is... It's no big deal really. But uh, yeah, the Runes is the worst that you can get. Uh, I think... I th Yeah, I would prefer Gold over the, the Runes. But if you spend money in this game, like... By all means, like... Go ahead and farm this place like crazy. All right, covenant bookmark. It's gonna take a lot of energy. 
to if you want to like farm this you can't farm this non-stop like i i can just spend all my sky stones uh, probably in the, in two days because these runs are super quick and you're spending 50 percent more energy uh running this place and the experience is not that good experience not that good compared to world difficulty like it's terrible like i, I got galaxy uh, not galaxy of course not galaxy five covenant uh bookmarks that's it like this is all trash okay i got i got 10 10 covenant bookmarks but th this can be uh like you need a really big sample size guys but the gold transmit stone could be one percent it could definitely be one percent the molagora seed could be like two percent and the covenant bookmark it could be like uh five to ten percent maybe i just got really lucky i believe that i i got i got lucky and uh it could be just like ten percent maximum on the covenant bookmarks but don't really care about the rest like i said like gold transmit stone Potentially just one percent. Don't. It's not worth going for. Just check uh, my uh, my raid uh, videos. How I explore the raid and how I uh, get myself uh, galaxy uh, bookmarks that way. This is way better to do it that way as free to play than uh, farming this event. I didn't rush into farming the event like crazy. Like initially, yes, all the stuff you get is really good. Like uh, all 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 the stuff from here, from the quest, from the exchange. It's all good, but. But then when it comes to farming this thing, not so much. But like I said, if you've got a cancer hero that you really like, that astrology sign is cancer on a hero, a three star, four star, five star, you really like, it's part of your core team. And you need those, the heart of Hypocrisis, uh, rare Callus, go for it. But like, stop when you have enough, just stop. As free to play, you're not gonna be like pulling uh, cancer heroes uh, left and right. That you're gonna be part in your core group that you're pretty much using everywhere. I don't think so. I don't think so. Unless you're really lucky, but you're gonna be uh, very like a special case. So yeah, just get how many uh, you want, and that's it. That's that's my take on it. Uh, saw a very small ten pull. You can uh, write in the comment section. Let us know how many pulls you've done. What are your results? But from all I took so far, from uh, comments I read, uh, uh, like over the place, like uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, and uh, that's my take. So yeah, do it, do do with this information as you wish. Uh, yeah, and that's it for this one. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.